Well, Finn, we'll come on to the match situation in a moment. But first of all, half century for yourself. Um, how did you find it with the bat out there today? It was quite slow going. Yeah, it was tough. Um, the wicket was playing a few tricks, just going a little bit low um, with the older ball. Um, and yeah, as you can see through the middle order, it started reversing for them, uh, reverse swinging. So it was hard work in periods. But obviously, as soon as you sort of get through a certain stage, 30, 40 balls when you're in there, it starts to get a bit easier. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it got a bit easier and then I gave it away with a bad shot, but there you go. But it did seem as though a lot of the Sussex middle order, I know you were losing wickets and the match situation had to be borne in mind, but yeah, there was a lot of kind of getting yourself in, being defensive, making sure that you were putting safety first. And that was with the idea, presumably, that the ball as it was getting older would be easier to, to hit. Yeah, um, I'm not really too sure. I can't really speak for too many of the others, to be honest. It just, um, usually I'd say I'm quite an aggressive batsman and today I couldn't really find any rhythm. It took a while. Um, I know it was obviously pretty similar for the other lads who we were going at two and over for most of the innings, so it obviously was hard work. Um, a lot of the games we've played so far this season, we've been scoring at four, four and a half and over th through the uh, majority of our innings. So, yeah, slightly different. Um, losing wickets in regular intervals didn't help, and yeah, we're behind the eight ball a little bit. Was that the ball? Was it the pitch? Was it the fact that Glamorgan tightened up their lines and lengths from yesterday? What was the difference between yesterday evening and, and today? Uh, I think they bowled really well, to be honest. They did bowl nicely. They hit the stumps a lot kept that in the game, kept the front pad in the game. Um, the wicket was a bit low and slow. Um, and yeah, they used it to their, to their advantage. They set good fields, straight fields. Um, and we, to be honest, I think we batted poorly. Um, so, I mean, hopefully we can emulate what they did yes, uh, today, tomorrow, um, and try and get them out cheaply. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Because you lost your set batters overnight, uh, early on this morning, and you'll be now hoping that you can do the same in reverse uh, in, in, in tomorrow morning. So that's going to be the key, isn't it, to, to strike early in the first hour? Yeah, I think so. Um, look, the new ball seems to play a lot easier, to be honest, in both innings, I think. Um, it came onto the bat nicely. Um, so I think, obviously, tomorrow morning, slightly older ball. Hopefully we can get it to reverse like they did. Um, and get a few few wickets early doors and then just keep run rate down and try and grind them into a slow death. But um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. Nathan McAndrew thought he had sort of caught behind. Everybody thought he had um, caught behind, but uh, nothing doing on that. Yeah, I mean, on by the side, it wasn't out, so I can't comment on that. Um, not sure if it, I, he said it hit the pad. I, I didn't hear anything from points, so I was sort of just waiting to see if it was out or not. But there you go. And I don't know it's too early necessarily to talk about that and you want to try and keep it down to as little as possible. But a target on this pitch, I mean, two, even 250 might be a bit of a challenge on something like this, might it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we'll see how it goes as the game progresses. Um, it might not get as slow and low as we think it might. Um, but yeah, we'll just try and sort of uh, focus session by session and see where we get to tomorrow evening.